It's absolutely great to see Vince back winning because you want to see a guy who's a double champion in the Super League series come back with his best game, having had a tough year. And I think having won, it's going to give him huge confidence to know that he is back in the shape he was when he previously won the Super League series. It's almost time. Here we go again. Week three brings the Enduro. I love this one. It is savage. Swim, bike, run three times, no breaks. A pure test of grit, stamina and heart. Who will make it to the first boy first and take that first short shoot? Taylor Reid just about took it away from Vincent Lewis, the first short shoot back in Munich. If he can do that again, let's see if the rest of his teammates can give him some clear water. Let's go. We are back into the water in Jersey, and it's always a beautiful sight here in Elizabeth Marina. You can see Vincent Lewis probably moving himself into second position there. Yeah, very good question is, will Matt Hauser give up the short shoot to Vincent Lewis if indeed they're going to cross close to each other? And no one is anywhere near Vincent Lewis when it comes to speed in the second half of a swim. Matty Hauser was so quick in the first half. No problems with Lewis out in the swim. No problems with Hauser either. Van Reel is in third position. Transition, we head in. Hauser, Van Reel, Kenji, Nina, Seth Ryder are your top five. Johnny Brownlee as well. But Hauser, is he going to slow down? He is. He is going to slow down for Vincent Lewis. So. There you go, the Scorpion. I talk a bit with Matt and making sure like at least one of us get the short shoot and, and, and making sure if if we have the choice, I, I take it because I can I can play it at the end. And, uh, and Matt's really cool, uh, really plays, uh, really plays the, the game and making sure like I, I have it. Through transition, they come for the first bike and Van Real moves to the front. Confirmation that Vincent Lewis, thanks to Matt Hauser slowing down, is your short shoot winner. They've hit these corners so many times, some of these guys as well, especially Hayden Wild as well. And he's extremely good technically, you know, technically through these corners. Uh, he's coming through here, he really wants the short shoot, he wants to give it to Vince. And yeah, I think they're uh, coming through. It looks like uh, Seth Ryder busy giving, um, yeah, Hayden a bit of a shot. Oh, oh and it comes yeah, down. there goes Seth Ryder! Hayden Wild manages to avoid that. But his bike's in the wrong hand. He manages to put the back in too. That's going to save him time later on. But those two came rocketing into transition. I felt the, the, the first swim was hard already, but uh, I, I felt it wasn't as easy as the previous years when I was racing Super League or the IT races or stuff like this. But, uh, but straight on the bike, I, I could see that, uh, that I wasn't like on my A game. So I had to like really make sure I, I don't do mistake and make sure I'm, I'm well like positioning and everything. And on the first run, I was, I was okay, but I could feel like the others weren't really like trying or they were, they were all okay. And when, when I had to dive again, uh, I, 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 really, I really can't push too hard. I had to like take that swim as a, as more recovery. I was like, okay, just lead the swim, make sure you're first out of the water. But I couldn't like really go. I was like, just like swimming and I knew everyone would be with me at the end of the swim, but I was just more like, okay, just put your head down, do what you do and, and you'll see. But, uh, but I knew, I knew already like seeing how I swam that that would be, that was going to be a hard race. Of traffic as Lewis again comes out of the water first. He's got a short shoot in the back pocket. Out comes Johnny Brownlee and the pace at the front is hot. On goes the Phoenix helmet of Azon Lewis and out comes Brownlee and Lewis. And Brownlee takes his turn at the front. Wild tucks in behind as they head out on a 4K bike. as Kenji Nina hops out of the shoes and they come rocketing into transition again. That's what happens when you don't have a front break. And it's Vincent Lewis who's at the back this time. It looks like Vince has got some work to do here, actually. I mean, this is, this is, not, this is not his usual position. Annie, what do you, well, what do you this think about point, it? strange. At this point in the course, at this point in the course, Hayden Wilde and Johnny Brown to get a look at where Vincent Lewis is. This is the point where you find out exactly how far back he is, and there he is there, 
and they go, okay, we've got to go. We've got to go. If we're going to put points back into the championship leader, we're going to go now. I wasn't good and I let people pass me and then in second transition, I, I had a terrible transition, I lost the contact and that was pretty much my race down. And um, there is no short shoot that can help you anywhere when you're like 20 seconds on the front. Master and Ryder, there is your championship leader. Seeing his chances slip away, he's having trouble with the shoe as well. He hasn't had a race he would like. Benson Lewis, the short shoot's not gonna help him from back there. He's all by himself. expect to win or when you like used to win and then and then you don't succeed it's more like like a shock like one, two minutes when I think about nothing. I'm just looking somewhere and I'm just like thinking about like nothing. Because you don't want to think about what just happened. And uh, I think the worst is to like overthink the things, like trying to say, oh yeah, I should retire, or I should change my coach, or I should have not done that, or I should like, because now it's too fresh, like you, you can't do that. It's not productive, it's, it's useless. You want to be on the podium, even more when you when you did already when Super League was just like you snap your finger, you win the race, you, you don't even like brief at the end. And uh, but but for that I, I I know I can win again if I'm on my A game, if I'm fit, if I'm like race weight and everything, I can show up. I can win. I'm not scared. This is not like my time's not gone. My, I'm not done with that. But it's just. I did not work enough. I did not have like I, I, I couldn't I couldn't work enough leading to these races. So I knew it, it was gonna be hard. I mean, in endurance sports, whatever they are, there is no magic. There is a surprise. There is luck, a bit of luck, but there is no magic. I mean, I'm used to say, like, tomorrow the sun will shine. With or without Vincent Luis, he doesn't care. So you better be ready and alert when, when the sun shines. There is, I think there is two options. Uh, either you, you complain and, and you think you should change things or stuff like this, or, or either you just want to win again. So here we are the day after the race and uh, my body's obviously a little bit sore um, but I'm really really pleased. I was actually really nervous for this one. Probably the most nervous I have been uh, in a while obviously apart from Tokyo and that was mainly because um, I had such an awful race here last time in Jersey and I really wanted to uh, um, make amends for that, get over it um, and show that again I can be a good athlete because in Jersey that really hurt me last time and I felt you know I let a lot of people down so I was nervous to, to race well but the race itself uh, was brilliant the enduro format was one that I thought suit me most out of probably all the formats um, because you're racing hard and fast when you're really really tired and that's what I'm good at and the 
first couple of rounds about getting through safely and uh, yeah I did that and then an absolutely brilliant battle at the end I've, uh, I've uh, re-watched that finish a lot of times and I felt I did everything I possibly can to win that tactically um, but I was just beaten by a, a faster uh, and a, a younger guy. Good now that uh, you're going to the US, huh? It's uh, gonna be a nice period there. Well, I hope we'll have a better race than uh, this one. Than this one, though. I think with all the travel <coughs> and the obligations we've had to do, it took a toll on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I mean. a bit sick, so. Hopefully you'll feel better in a few days. Yeah. Well, I'm a bit uh, disappointed by the race because I like I like racing here in Jersey and enduro and everything. Could have been a good race, but yeah, well, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. But that would be good to win again. Huh? This is, um, this is the first long haul flight of the series and coming off three races back to back, flying into LA, you know, coming into here and it's so much hotter in LA than it is at the moment in Europe. Malibu, wow, what a place to have a race. Uh, it has a history here that is really deep in sport and triathlon. So to bring Super League Triathlon, the final event here is gonna be absolutely brilliant to see. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit better. No, today is, uh, today is better. But phew, yeah, yesterday was a struggle huh? between the travel and a uh, bit of sickness. Wasn't easy. But yeah, I had a good night's sleep and uh, I'm feeling better, uh, recovering. Had a good training day. I mean, it's been pretty consistent the last few days. It's pretty choppy. The entry's going to be fun. I think it's going to be much like this. So yeah, that, that first entry into the water, if you see these, these breakers here, yeah, it might put a few people back a bit. Maybe someone like Taylor, who's been here, lifeguarded here before. She has maybe that little advantage, so uh, knows exactly how to, to tackle these, get her leg over the top of the wave, uh, get out there quickly. Yeah, but I mean, the last few days it's been much like this, don't expect any change. Should I do tomorrow? Should I uh, like under the wave? Yes. Okay. And on the way back, I go on top. Kick, 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 and body surf. Yeah, but when you body surf, you need to do the one on. Ah oh, yeah. And just hold your breath for as long as possible. I did not swim much, but I had fun in the waves. Normally, he hates open water. Yeah. So I think he came into this 
I think with low expectations, and he came away very happy. So that was good. I'm Christian Blumfeld, the Olympic champion and world champion. Of course I would like to win because it's a real statement. Like if I'm able to go from like the longer stuff and then still back to like uh, the, the shortest of the shortest and uh, the most uh, technical and speedy format of triathlon, then uh, it really shows that uh, I would be a really kind of complete athlete. Vincent Louis is maybe the best Super League athlete there is. Like, he is really able to take advantage of his swim, bike and run strength. He doesn't really have any weaknesses over this format. He's uh, technical good, he's fast on the swim, he normally leads out every swim now and kind of attacking it from the front. So, uh, yeah, he is uh, the best Super League athlete there is. He is or he was? I think he is still. Yeah, no, so now we're three races in. I think um, what I said before has, has partly come through. What is catching up with Vince is, I think, the fact that he hasn't really had good training for a couple of months now, right? And now, okay, we're three weeks back-to-back -back racing. It's obviously very tiring, right? He's not as fit as he would like to be, right? Okay, he, 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 can, he can bank on his experience, he can bank on his, on his savviness of racing, his killer instinct, but he's not as fit as he would like to be. I think there's a lot of rough, there's a lot of poker faces going on with some of the athletes when they go to breakfast and they just act like, hey, you're doing, yeah, I'm fine, everything's good, you know? And I love, <laughs> I love seeing things like that. And you know, athletes are really hurting. Some people probably have like, like injuries that are just hanging around and stuff and everyone's just keeping quiet about things. But I think people just want to survive until, uh, until the last race in Malibu. Good morning. Good morning. Huh? You've been in the U.S. for like a month? I've been in the U.S. for three, four weeks. Yeah, a month. It wasn't bagels for breakfast. Because normally for breakfast in the U.S. I either had uh, frozen waffles, bagels or donuts. It's like the American dream. And I heard it's going to be even bigger waves today than it were yesterday. So the swim is going to be a very tricky swimming. Like when it's so many waves, you often see maybe new guys up front on the swim, like the Australians, just because they have the skills of really catching the wave on the way back home. The, um, the unique thing about a grand final is it's got to be bigger. There are more points on offer. You know, it's normally 15 for the win, now it's 20. I hadn't done the math, but uh, people like already like done, done that for me. And uh, as I always say, the only thing I have on my hands is, uh, is myself and what I can do. So my goal, of course, to win the race. And, um, and then whatever happens, happens. Uh, so now for Vince to win, oh man, he's got he's to beat He's got to beat, I think, he's just got to beat um, Alex, but he's got to beat Hayden and Johnny by two. So winning's not good enough. You, you, you can have the best day ever, you can get the short shoot, you can win gloriously, but man, if Johnny has his aim game, man, there's nothing you can do because it's the consistency of those athletes. All I know is who, who, whoever wins the, the SLT 2021 is going to be a worthy winner.
course, though, the athletes will be dealing with a beach star. Now, that's something that a lot of the athletes will not have done before. It's very unpredictable. It's going to be big waves, and I think some athletes are going to come out really well, and some athletes not so well. Malibu is uh, the eliminator uh, format, and this is, as you can think, like eliminator. People get eliminated in the race. So after each leg, uh, the, uh, people get removed from the race and they'll be removing two athletes each time. Uh, so it's swim, bike and run three times with a gap between each one and the, the final round then is literally the cream of the crop. Uh, who's left, who's, who's surviving? It's like Hunger Games of triathlon a little bit. Time to get underway in the men's, the last race of the championship season. In a race like this, with three weekends back-to-back -back racing, Everyone is tired. It's all about who has the biggest desires of winning. I got nothing to lose. I'm just gonna go all in and give everything I got. They are off and Benson Lewis slightly missed the start. Matt Houser straight into the water. Here comes the wave. This time it hits those that are on the right-hand side, but we've seen that the right is better for the boy placement. It's a real balancing act here between how hard do you go early on. The athletes have been absolutely thrown onto the shore, but it's only three or four of them. So unsurprisingly, it's two Aussies and a Kiwi at the front with Taylor Reid in third position. And it's Hauser who could well pick up the $20,000. He just needs to finish ahead of Benson Lewis, and Lewis is nowhere. It doesn't matter. He takes the full points. He picks up the 20 grand. He's happy about it too. He takes the short shoot from Aaron Royal. So, uh, yeah, on the first race, like I missed the wave and got past just at the end, but it's, it's okay. I mean, I could have got the short shoot, but uh, Matt got it. So, at the end, it was, uh, it was, it was good too. And, uh, and on the bike, I felt good. I mean, the first race, you, you want to keep it under control. You don't want to do anything stupid. People are getting eliminated at the back, and it almost doesn't concern you. Well, you can see they're slowing down now, but who's that coming up the outside? Christian Blumenfeld, he doesn't care about this. He's off! He's off! He doesn't, he hasn't even read the rules. I He's like, I was going to win this by 100 miles for no reason at all. I love this guy so much. He's an absolute warrior. These are all his best mates behind him. He's like, I don't care. I'm off. So basically, race one was, was all about saving energy. I was actually already starting to think about what to do in transition, how to like put back my stuff together and, and everything. So you finish the race, you just rack your back again, put your goggles on your head and you jog to the platform. You have to forget about what you just did, about the race that just happened. It's a new race, it's a new chance, and you just have to go for it. Into the water they go again. It looked like the waves here, they were getting absolutely pounded. It could be Brownlee at the front, hard to see. Taylor Reid, Johnny Brownlee is up there this time as well. Then there's a bit of a big gap back. Vincent Louis had a great transition here. Wow, that was really fast watching him come through. Johnny Brownlee in second, I think Taylor, Taylor Reid, and then it was Aaron Royal coming. But uh, also Blumenfeld, really high up. He's moved up from the first round, uh, so that's going to put him in a good place on the bike. And then, and then same as race one, I mean, it, it comes together, you just have to, don't be the last guy to cross the line, and, and that was it. There was a few more than that, a couple of people have gotten left behind in transition, but all of those men are going to be safe. Already the short shoots have been decided, Hauser and Van Riel, so in that front group, Van Riel is the man. Who will win this? All four championship protagonists are there. Johnny Brownlee leading by a point coming into this. Vincent Lewis, he's four points back. Hayden Wild only a point back. And Alex Shee is two points back. One more time into the water here on the Malibu Pacific Coast. the water for the final time in Super League in 2021. 
and on stage three, I think uh, the swim, I really wanted to push it, so I, I took the lead pretty early. And, uh, and then, yeah, I couldn't catch the last wave, so uh, I was already like almost like out of the water, and the guys behind me caught the wave. Uh, I got sucked back by the, by the water, so it is what it is, open water and sea water, like you, ocean, you never know. Uh, it's you and your luck huh? a bit. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're born in New Zealand or Australia or whatever, it's you and your luck sometimes. And at the front is Reed, Van Reel and Lewis. Bit of a gap back to Brownlee, Ryder, and then Velas is there. And down in 10th and 11th, 10 seconds off the pace, is Yee and Wild. So Johnny Brownlee is in the, the box seat at the moment. If he beats both Wild and Yee, don't forget that Van Reel and Hauser are the two men with a short shoot. They're going to be uh, picked up in the run. Hauser probably not going to figure in the overall. Van Reel very much could. But Brownlee had a pretty good swim. And I don't know where he is on the timesheets, but he's fallen down a little no, bit. He's there he that. is. He's, he's in, in the that. pack. Yeah. We've all come together here pretty much. The whole field. The last one onto the black carpet for the last time first. Blumenfeld and Reed as well. Racking the bike at the back of screen is Vincent Lewis. If you can have the championship standings if he wins this one he knows that Blumenfeld doesn't figure Reed doesn't figure Lewis is there Van Reel doesn't figure neither does Ryder and then it's Wild Yee and Brownlee all together separated by three points as Hayden Wilde moves his way up to third position ahead of Van Reel there's the short shoot in the background next time around Van Reel's going to take that one there you can see Brownlee Lewis and Yee in the back of this group they are the men chasing Hayden Wilde there's a little gap there, maybe a second, to this group of the three championship contenders. I felt I was going a bit too much in the red zone on the bike, but I knew I was only 1.6k away from the glory, so I just had to give it all. Interestingly, Vincent Luis is slightly dropping off that pace. Have these four gone on a little bit too early? Blumenfeld definitely not. He has all the experience that you'd expect for an Olympic champion to have, but it's Wild who's pushing it on now. Ye, the fastest runner in triathlon. Can he run his way back up to this pack? At the moment, he sits one point behind Hayden Wild. He needs to beat him. He's in fifth right now, and he's doing his best to run onto the back of Velasa. I think he's done it. Yeah. Van Reel takes the short shoot and he's now the leader. Yee is there. It's going to be a foot race between Alex Yee and Hayden Wild. They're now 200 metres from the finish. Rowley's dropped off the back. Yee is there in the white. There is Hayden Wild in the purple of the Sharks and now Yee's right behind him. Alex Yee going around the outside as well, just up into the hip here of Martin Van Riel. It's going to come down to a sprint finish. I think Wall's going to get dropped. I think he's going to be the one that does it. Has uh, Hayden Wall got another gear? I don't think he does. Four twelve oh one. Final interview, Vincent Louis. Uh, the first thing is, uh, I, I kind of wanted to know who won, because uh, I saw it was it was tied between Martin and Alex. I mean, I, I love both guys, so I was I would have been happy. But uh, I think I think Martin is a is a good guy. He's always finishing fourth at the Olympics, and and so I, I really wanted him to like have a good win because he's he's always like. A good rank, but he, he he rarely wins, and that's that's what makes you. It's wins. It's all about the wins. So I um, yeah, I congratulate him, and then I went at the back because I just had to I just had to sit for a little. I was I was really tired, and I was hot. It was kind of hot too, so I, I just wanted to like sit a little. 
What a month, what a finish. Alex Yee, two Olympic medals and now the new King of Super League. Hayden Wild second after a great four weeks racing ahead of Johnny Brownlee, who'll be disappointed in missing his best chance at taking overall honours. Vasco Velas's kick at the end lands him fourth ahead of Vincent Lewis, capping off a tough year for the two-time world champion. But if we know Vince, the fire will be burning even brighter in 2022. Um, yeah, so of course you're disappointed huh, when you cross the line, you're not winning, but uh, it's just like, you know, people around you, they, they're all happy. They're all celebrating or, or, or they, they're just happy for, pe for the people. And, um, and actually, as I said, I was, I was happy for Alex, for Martin, Hayden, Vasco is, 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 is like chasing the podium for a long time. So I think Super League is just now kind of, a, I could say a family, but I would more say like a brotherhood. Like we all together, traveling together, taking the same planes, we're staying in the same hotel rooms, we're eating together, like we're basically doing like everything together for four weeks. So it's like, it's like, it's like really, I don't know, it, it puts everyone together. It's, uh, we're gonna raise the guys like weekend in, weekend out. Yeah, I'm just happy for them. They all deserve to, to have a good race. So uh, I can't, I can't hide myself behind excuse or whatever, it's just, you with the guys, they're happy. And you know, I think, uh, I think, Happiness is just contagious, so it's good, it's good that uh, it's spread on all of us. So, um, Invincible Season 2. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. We'll see. Uh, I hope we don't have to change the title in the middle of the season, but invincible-ish or something, or discounted or whatever. No, that's great. I mean, uh, I, I had a lot of feedback from people. I think they, I think they like it, the behind the scenes and everything, behind the scenes and everything. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I'll do my best to put some more wins in the invincible season too. Being in a Super League race is like being in a fight with a bear. It rips you apart, it burns your lungs, it's all our racing from the gun. All I really want to be is to be at the top end of racing, being competitive, and that's what I can do. Super League triathlon is exciting. If you watch Super League, you know that you're watching the best. We always put everything on the line. Uh, we give everything we've got. Everything went wrong. It felt like the world was against me. Winning is addictive. There is no better feeling. Triathlon. If if you don't see that, then you're not paying attention. Full send. Every second counts. Yeah!